get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures, and uh, turn in your scriptures to Galatians chapter 6. I'm going to read one verse. Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. James chapter 5. James chapter 5, verses 14, uh, verses 13, on to verse 15. James chapter 5, verses 13, on to verse 15. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sin, and if he have committed sins, excuse me, they shall be forgiven him. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, <clears throat> verses 13 on to verse 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 on to verse 18. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Romans, Romans chapter 12, Romans chapter 12, <clears throat> verses 9 on to verse 15 in Romans chapter 12. Romans 12, verses 9, on to verse 15. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love and honor preferring one another. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Bless them which persecute you. Bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. And weep with them that weep. Look at verse 13. Distributing to the necessity of saints given to hospitality. Church of the living God. On this day, the year of our Lord, 2020. November 19th. I believe that is the day today. November 19th, 
Please pray fervently for our beloved brother, Alexander Hartley, and his auntie, our sister, Jerry. Our beloved sister, Jerry, has heart problems. And it is a road that she has traversed before. And um, unfortunately, but yet fortunately, but fortunately, she may be going home to be with the Lord. Please pray for our dear sister, Jerry our beloved brother, and my dear friend, Alexander Hartley's auntie, our sister. Please keep her in prayer. Please keep him in prayer. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, brethren, sisters.